Hmm. I trimmed my pubes recently. I'm just <laughs> gonna fucking eat! <laughs> You're such a wanker! <laughs> Are you eating Skittles? No, a fucking sausage roll, you c- <laughs> You upper- <laughs> What is your sausage roll? I hate you! <laughs> So, welcome to another episode of Factions 101. What we're going to be covering this episode is purely cactus farms. What we're going to be doing next episode is probably pumpkin farms. We should really stop saying what we're going to do in the next episode, because it never happens, does it? Yeah, like We've been saying that we were going to do base criticisms, but that never happened, so... Anyway, this episode is going to be based on cactus farms. You've got this first one that we... we well, we did some preparation for this. We even calculated, just because we were interested, we calculated how many cactus you can fit. Which one's the most compact? There was just no surprises. It's this one here. That can fit 18 cactus into this small of an area. This one can fit 10 and this one can fit 14. So yeah, so these aren't all the same area of volume, but um, when you do the numbers, you get 8.5, uh, whereas in this one, you need eight. Yeah. So I mean, that one's more compact. You see a lot of people doing all of these methods, I think. This is the one I used to do, which managed to fit 12, which I would say is like a close contender with these ones as well, because it means the cactus can go in really any direction it likes on this one, and it most likely won't get broken. I used to do this method I don't anymore, I now do this method because it is the best one that you can do. We're pretty sure it's been quite a while since we tested it. Yeah, we, we haven't made a cactus farm in a while. <laughs> well, no, we have. It's just a long time since we tested it. Yeah, yeah. That was like, what, three years ago? <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while, guys. <laughs> Take our word for it. Test it yourself if you want to know. But this is a very good design. This one, I'm like 90% sure, isn't as good as this one with the string. Yeah. And this one is possibly better than string, possibly worse. I don't know. You'd have to test that for yourselves. It can fit less cactus, but it also seems like it, it's more... It, less it's breaks. Easy, yeah, less, less will break on other cactus, whereas this one... You know what? Something might happen. It like just goes up and straight down. Like if it goes left or right, then it's gonna just break on this same cactus. So you might be able to fit more in this farm, but you might also lose about half of what you get. So it's your decision, I guess. It really does depend. Then again, I never see anyone making this one. Not that often, no. No, I always see this one, that one, or this one. I mean, you can't really go wrong with those two. I don't think. Like you definitely won't be dissatisfied. We even made a little thing to show what the collection could be like with Cyclops' favorite method. Yeah, hoppers. Or and in fact, you can just do a water channel here and have a minimum amount of hoppers however you like depending on how rich you are basically the reason we like this method is because it can land anywhere on here and still go in whereas like a basic sign method where there's just signs separating it you might run into some problems when cactus falls straight down and then it won't go anywhere this looks cool it does the look sign cool method stuff. looks just a bit I just, I don't like the sign, mate. It doesn't look nice. This looks nice. I, I think I'm the first one to do this. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna claim credit for this. I wanna give you guys a tip. I still have yet to do it, so I can't give it as a, it completely works, 100% tip. But, placing water, placing blocks on here and then water underneath. Cock. You fucking idiot. <laughs> It'll make it so people have a much harder time reversing you if they were going to do that. Like, a lot of people will tunnel in at the very bottom and get then... Get your hoppers. Yeah, get your hoppers or, or they yeah, or they just try and reverse. Well, no, they get your hoppers and then they just tunnel the shit out of your cactus. Yeah, so watering your cactus is a pretty viable method as just a, another wall, really. So, not so much another wall. I mean, it is a little bit. It takes another shot of TNT. Yeah, it, ta it takes a couple of shots or whatever, but it's more a thing of um, <laughs> stops people from scattering. Yeah. They'll have a much harder time scattering if they were to go in like this. And I mean, if and if, if you, let's say you had like what I mean, something that Sixth Nation did, they put they wrap this all around their outer wall base, and they had like four or five of these. So that's an extra what three shots at minimum, really, if they had water on them. So the way I've led this out is so they're staggered. So it kind of kind of acts like a filter ward. I've laid this area out just so I can kind of show you how to build some of these because this one, although it's quite good, it's a pain in the ass to build, isn't it? Because I mean, it's like I build them in normal mode. I'm not particularly good at cactus farms because because I've always had the sand bitches build them. You wanna place your sand in here? This is, this is just the way that I found easiest. I don't know why I place that. I like to do it sort of like this method. And I'll break that block there. And the block that I'm standing on has to be replaced with a fence. So you wanna come up here break that and then you can just start your new layer again. If your server has fly this becomes a lot easier to do. However, I mean I know that a lot of servers don't have fly or they don't 
let people leave and have fly in, in faction. You can just download a mod called Schematica and you can just fly up and down printing all these. These ones, these ones are just ridiculously easy to build. I'm not sure if I really needed to show this because everyone knows how to build this sort of thing. You run up and down here doing this. Doing so guys, this don't forget to place a water on every cactus block. Keep your cactus nice and watered or they die. Fuck you and fuck off. <laughs> the easiest here. way is you start out like this. And you just go, fuck it for the bottom one. I'm just going to put a cobblestone block there. Uh, then you do cactus. I'll just say you've, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> you don't need oh, to die. Yeah, 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 it's like this, it's like this. Yeah, and then that that's the easy way of doing it. Once you got that first bit done, it's yeah. fine. You just do cobblestone at the bottom. I don't know why over there I did it with string. That just made it harder on myself. But thumbnail. Go. <laughs> so... Presenting the best block of anything you've ever seen, basically. Wait, psych top, psych top. Water it. If you stay at the right angle, there's an there's a Illuminati triangle there. You can see the cactus that groups together. <laughs> Do you see the Illuminati see triangle? Illuminati. What does this mean? <laughs> I are taking over. Ah! So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something today from this video. But I'm not saying it. I'm not saying press or like do the like. That's same. That's like the cringy YouTuber level of shit. Touch yourself. Make sure you touch yourself tonight. I'm looking at you, Billy. Alright guys, see you in the next video. I hope you learned something today. Press the like button on this video to let me know that you like video the button. And because this video is only six minutes long, and a longer video would have been too long to do this little shout out, but I just want to give a shout out to the OneShot MC owner, Emerald Explorer. He he allows me to record on this server, Record Factions 101. He's the person that supports these videos and also gave me the private server to even record on. And now this is my primary testing server. So I just want to give a big shout out to him. Just tell you guys you should come check out OneShot MC. I personally use it all the time as a testing server. If anyone ever asks me what server I can on, I'll say OneShot. Because even if you don't have one of the personal servers, I just like the private see and no one messaging me in chat and you know the ability to pick plugins and stuff like that and it's really well supported there's not there's like no lag i mean i did test personally with the guy on skype that we use cannons that shot thousands of tnt plus and it's a really really well managed server as well the owner is really responsive with any recommendations he's the sole developer of this server like there's no one else working with him and he's i think he's trying to launch a faction server soon and i've talked to him on skype and he's he is having a bit of a hard time with school and stuff he's a really smart guy he goes to a bunch of classes in america and the payoff for him is owning a successful server that people like and get can give good feedback so if you would like to come on to one shot mc the ip is in the description the shop is going to be in the description of this video i really recommend checking it out help help the owner out get this faction server open for him because he is having a bit of a hard time and give him some motivation motivation to get his faction server up and running. Give him some motivation to make this canning server just a little bit better. Go give one shot some love, stick around on the channel for a while, we've got some interesting videos planned, should be uploading more frequently for a while at least. And yeah, thank you guys for listening and watching the video.